Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. We just got done uh, defeating the hag. We saved May 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 Mayrina. Uh, we're level 4, so yeah. I think we shall move on. And we'll go out here. Should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> Did I find a one? Can I? Would it be under Gale? No. Wait, where's the wand? Very curious. Uh, is this the one? No. Well, I mean, let's try it, I guess. I found a wand. I think I can resurrect your husband. What? You can. You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back. Bring Connor back. Please. Point the wand towards the coffin. He's going to be undead. So the hag fulfills her promise. It can never be simple, can it? Huh. The creature's bound to this wand. How useful. He's not a creature. Ooh. He's my husband. Oh. I wanted him back. Back the way he was. Not this. We can always bury him again no don't put him in the ground what do you want he, was, he is afraid of the dark i'll do it i'll take him you're sure you want to do this i promised him i'd fix this and i'm gonna maybe maybe someone in Baldur's gate can help us i'll i'll figure something out Come on, love. Let's... Let's go. Using Ethel's wand wasn't the best idea. You think? 
is beyond even the power of the weave to help now. Here lies Connor, beloved husband, and a tasty little morsel to boot. Where'd they go? Did they go for a swim? There's something that I'm not... I left him behind. Whoops. Step quick. Let's be on my way. Very well, then. All right. Wait, I need to be holding this down. The frog croaks a friendly eep. Nice. Curious, the frog leans in, ribbiting softly. The frog croaks loudly, pleased. Okay. If I, I should have, um, come here. Glad I could help. Happy, happy, come, present. Follow the frog. Thanks, buddy. Ooh, traveler's chest. Ooh, piece of candy. Right, let's head back. Trap. 
Good eye. A food one in my inventory. Twenty rotting. What's next? I can't cure wounds. Uh, hold on. Since I'm her, let's examine. a nice one still breathing do i have don't waste a step ah, i'm not rotting anymore all right for the most part all that's done next is Confront, hunt the devil. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Uh, let's go here and sell our, what we have, get some money, maybe some new gear. Open says me. Nope. And we go. Kale still has mage armor. So does that mean he's just still 16? Did you message me? No, I thought you meant the chaos so I was concerned. And what was that? Uh, chaos peed on the dog in the front of living room in front of me. So the, what sounds like the dog dying was him. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah. It was me locking him Looking for steel. I have, well, at his level, so something I'm close. Mm-hmm. Here, mom, use this. Hmm. Okay. We got trident. <laughs> any better doesn't give you hunter's mark so no okay Ooh, a great club me like what's Medium armor. How much is this? 400. Okay, we'll think about it. 400, 500 gale. Seven twenty five. 
So if I give you that, you get that. No. I guess we can rock the club because Before I sell that, let's see something here. Inventory, so that gives me plus six or five to 14, five to 12, but I also get, if I miss, I still give them uh, three bludgeoning damage anyways. So, not bad. Who has my gold? Staff of Crones. Okay. I lose out on damage with this shield. Let's go talk to the, what you call him? The, uh, the paladins. Okay, there's nothing underneath there. I always feel like I should check underneath the rocks.
Really? You're hurting again? My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Um... Thank you. Good gods. I don't know what to make of this. Three artifacts is a positive glut of magic. Yet my hunger only grows. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Go on, you're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time she became my muse. And later even my lover. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? I'm intrigued. Tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured. And shattered and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned she restored the weave reuniting all its scattered shards or so I thought until in the course of my studies I learned of a book a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach what if I thought what if after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess. What was the answer to that question? The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here, place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in into the dark. 
you see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bowed and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And God says it ever hungry. What is it? What do you see? How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, Remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. You will die. Rather worse, actually. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it would level a city the size of Waterdeep. There's nothing we can do. We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. We'll continue together. That's how it will be. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Alright. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the like button. Down below, write a comment for the algorithm. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you then. Bye.